In the last liberal budget, they said, we're going to bring in dental care. A number of people said, who I know, said, boy, we've had two years of terrible health care. Who says the government can do that? Which leads to the debate, how much can government get involved in your day-to-day -day life? Ashton Arsenault is a consultant with Crestview and is successful at that. He's a smart guy. He joins me right now because I want to put the question to you as a conservative. Do you believe that the federal government, provincial government, all governments should get out of more of the lives of Canadians? Well, I think what you're saying is Canadians are increasingly wanting more freedom. And over the last eight or years... Or do they want more things? Look, we're in elections and, and politicians keep saying, elect me, I will give you more things. No, I don't think it's true. Money. I think they want the conditions to allow themselves to provide each other and one another more things. Stephen. Okay. I don't think the government necessarily is the answer to all problems in all walks of life. Never right. has been. Correct. We're a G7 country, our government is going to exist. That is the reality. However, what government should do is create the conditions for Canadians to succeed as individuals. So when governments say, I created 400,000 jobs, they didn't. They should, unless they hired them all, which sometimes they do, they should create the conditions for private business the private sector to create those jobs, right? Look, look, it's absolutely right. And while they're at it, they should probably give you back some of your own money. Yes, but we have conservative parties, provincially, one in Ontario right now, uh, and they're making promises all, all across the board. Sometimes you look at their promises and say, is that the NDP or the conservatives? So federally, are you saying that conservative party will be different than many conservative parties? They aren't going to say, vote for me and I will give you this? from your own tax dollars? Well, it has to be. Otherwise, it's going to be a betrayal of voters. And I think what you're That's happened before in your party. It has. It has. And it was a betrayal then, and it'll be a betrayal if it happens again. But what I'm envisioning is a tidal wave of support, whether it be new Canadians, younger Canadians, Canadians that can't afford a home, Canadians that are tired of paying too much for things that they need for their everyday life. And they're going to take a look in the mirror and realize, what has this government done for me in the last eight years? And the answer should be nothing. And that's why I think we're looking at a change election. Well, you mentioned, you mentioned new Canadians. So many new Canadians come here because they want to buy a house. Yes. And the stats are that you know, they, you know, so many of them do within the first five years of being here. Yes. While others who have been here for maybe a generation say they're whining about it. So you're saying that a real conservative is almost going to be like a, a Thatcherism in, in, in Britain. There's going to be a change. Wean people off government? I think revolution is the wrong term. I don't like that term at all, but no, I, you're think, conservative. I think what we're looking at is a reset. And Canada should be one of the most prosperous places on earth where you have more freedom than any other place on earth. And if you're a young couple, if you're a young person that is well-educated and professional and you can't afford a home, you should be mad. You have a right to be mad. Ashton Arsenal, thank you very much. And we'll just pay attention to that. Instead of a revolution, it's a reset. The reset revolution. Three minutes. Thank you. Every day, Justin Trudeau tells you, I am making life more affordable for Canadians. And if you believe that, don't watch the station. But if you think that's baloney, as I do, that's a lie, then keep watching for non-biased, non-Prime Minister's Office funded news analysis. To keep us on the air, please donate. PayPal or send a check. 303 Bay Street in Toronto. We'll get it. We need the money.